In today's video, we say goodbye to a belt that I've worn for well over a year and I've had mixed reviews on. We say goodbye to the Warrior Poet Society and next belt, Titan Gun Belt, which is at this point more broken and kinked up than the Overwatch 2 servers. But saying goodbye, we say hello to the Core Garrison Gun Belt. And I'm gonna give you my first impressions of this belt so far. Arguably, one of the most important pieces of your EDC gear is your belt. Having a poor belt or a belt that cannot withstand the weight of your gun and holster and all of your other equipment that you would carry in your EDC, it can make for a very uncomfortable carrying experience. And there are several great options for good everyday carry belts out there, but today we are going to be showing you the core garrison gun belt before we get any further into this video i would like to say that this was sent to us by core not long ago they reached out to us here at the channel and said hey we have some new products that we'd like you all to test out and we were happy to oblige from our experience with core so far we have put several videos out on our channel about it and that was before we had any relationship with them. They did not send us any money or any other incentive. They just gave us their product for us to test and review. I was looking to replace this next belt. This is the Warrior Poet Society Titan Gun Belt, which they made in partnership with Next Belt. But over the years, I ran into several problems with this belt. I had to request for a new belt buckle, and there's also uh, quite a bit of wearing here on this belt. But the biggest problem I've had with this, which I've asked if Trevor or Chandler on the channel has had any problems with their core belts that they have, comparing to this next belt, but this is broken. There are several little breaks throughout the entirety of this belt, which made me want to start looking for a new one. Core Essentials reached out to us here on the channel, wanted to send us a few belts and products to test out and review, and once you know it, they sent me this Core Essentials Garrison belt. So, to give you my first impressions, let's talk about the general features of this belt. The biggest thing about this belt is not a classic belt. It has this ratchet style fastening system here with the belt and this track here on the back. To easily adjust the tightness, you just simply push in. And if you need to give yourself a little bit more room around the waistband, you just lift this lever here on the bottom and pull out the belt. This ratchet system is called the Core Essentials Track Line Technology, and it is a patent, and from what I can tell, a more superior system compared to the next belts that we've tested out here on the channel. While it does hold in on the track line very well, and there is no give, the adjustment is smooth, pushing in, and also the lever is a lot smoother, a little bit better oiled, if you will, to pull out even though there's no oil on it that's what it feels like it's just a little bit easier to activate that lever now then again this is a first impressions and i do want to point out i've only had this belt for about a month and a half at this point setting it up is super easy on the back you scan through this system a number find your waist size or what your pants size would normally be add four to six to it. We found that adding about five or six as opposed to the recommended four is better for inside the waistband carry. But if you carry outside waistband or some other form of carry, all you have to do is add four. But in my experience, go ahead and add six. And if there's just too much belt for you, all you have to do is undo the screws, undo the little clamping system there in the belt buckle and just cut off a couple more inches. With the track line system and the ability to cut to your waist size, this is essentially a one size fit all, or the belt is set up to fit most sizes of people. It can go all the way from a 24 inch waist all the way out to a 54 inch waist. So chances are you're gonna be able to wear this belt. 
Whether you're at work or sitting in a car for an extended amount of time, you can simply lift the lever and pull a little bit of the belt out of the belt buckle just to be a little bit more comfortable. But if you're up and moving around, doing some work outside or what have you, you can just push the belt in and tighten up all of your gear and equipment. It carries the weight much better than a typical leather gun belt. Core Essentials calls it their Power Core Center. According to Core, it is as strong if not stronger than steel and it is a flexible but rigid inner material that won't crimp, kink, or break, kind of like how we saw that next belt earlier. Supposedly, the material in the Core Essentials Garrison Gun Belt is supposed to reduce or eliminate that altogether. The Garrison Gun Belt, compared to other options that you can choose either on Core Essentials or at that matter, any other typical EDC belt, is a one and three quarters inch width belt as opposed to a classic one and a half inch belt. Even though it is a little bit wider, you can still wear it with everyday jeans, everyday pants, and you really have no restrictions on it. Most holsters can be adjusted to a 1.75 inch belt like this. So I've had no problems transferring all my holsters from my one and a half inch belt over to my one and three quarters inch belt. It's recommended to hold up to 10 pounds of equipment on your waist. So you can run it as an everyday carry belt or you can run it as a range belt and a pinch. With the garrison belt, you will also get this Velcro belt keeper. So if you have quite a bit of extra belt on the end, you can just fasten that down so you don't have a tag end just sticking out and printing on your shirt. Yeah, it's just a belt, but it still looks funny if someone sees it. So far with the small amount of time that I've had with the garrison gun belt, I have been very satisfied. It has carried my EDC equipment, guns, and holsters very well, which makes for a comfortable yet comforting EDC day. There have only been two things I've noticed that might be something to consider. One is the belt keeper. I mentioned it's Velcro, and we pointed this out in some other Core Central videos, which they've changed on some of their other belt styles, but instead of a singular connective kind of bungee belt keeper, this is Velcro. While it does have its pros, meaning you can put it on without having to take your entire belt on, which is nice, the only con is that you can take it off without taking your whole belt off. You don't really need to. Um, and the problems I've had is if you're wearing it with the Velcro a certain way and you, you're pulling your shirt up or something, going to the bathroom, you will get it caught and occasionally I have pulled this off with my shirt. Thank goodness it hasn't fallen in the toilet or anything doing so, but there have been a few close calls. So that's just something to consider whether you get rid of it, not use it at all, or just get a different belt holder or belt keeper. That might be a good idea. The only other issue I've experienced is it doesn't happen every day, and really it doesn't happen all the time, but every once in a while when I'm walking, there will be a subtle squeaking. When I first noticed it, I thought it was maybe my knives in my pocket because I carry a knife and a multi-tool, and I thought maybe they were rubbing together and creating a weird squeak. But when I got home, pocket dumped, got rid of all my ADC stuff, still had the belt on, and as I was walking, I heard the squeak. It doesn't happen all the time, and even as I'm sitting here trying to make it happen, it's just not wanting to do it. But I have heard a squeak coming from my belt buckle. I don't know if it's temperature dependent, perhaps if it's cooler or hotter, it might cause that metal to shrink just all so very much, and maybe there's some squeaking in it, or maybe the spring. I, I couldn't tell you. And as I sit here and try to troubleshoot it, I'm coming up empty but I have noticed a squeak. So maybe that's something with just a new belt and eventually goes away because I haven't noticed it in the past couple of days. But that is something I will monitor and in our full review of this Garrison gun belt, I will be sure to point out. If you do decide to order a Core Central gun belt, I have two tips. One, consider getting this Core Central's belt holder. Not only does it work with the Core Essentials belt, it also works with other ratchet style belts, such as Next Belt. 
But to demonstrate, you have, this is a three belt holder. This does not come with the belt. This is an optional item as they have put a little piece of paper there with some scotch tape to remind me it is an optional item. This does not come with the belt, but it is very handy. These little grooves here, you just run your belt on and it holds your belt and you can hold multiple belts. So if you're deciding to get just one or if you're getting a couple other core essential belts, go ahead and pick this up because it does help you hang them up and stay a little bit organized. Finally, if you do choose to order a core essentials gun belt or anything else from core essentials, use code RANGEDAY10 at checkout and you will save 10% on your purchase. We do not get any kickback from that code. All that is is just a discount code that Core has given us to help our viewers save a little bit of money. That's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. If you've liked this, Ready? please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you've had any questions or comments about what you saw here on the video today, leave that down in the comment section below and we will get back to you. If you like this video and you've seen a few other videos on the channel and you want to keep up with us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when a new video is released, click that bell and select the preferences that work best for you. Stay tuned for the full review of this Core Essentials Garrison Gun Belt as it will be posted on the channel in the future after we've had several months with the belt. This has been Mac with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Thank you for watching. <laughs> you, the one you had in there was spent. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, first try. <laughs>